These are my favorite shorts, period. In my opinion, I wouldn't say that they're the best ever made, but in terms of superior quality, price, and performance, 10,000 shorts would be pretty hard to beat. Before I get into this, I just wanna note that personally, I always prefer to buy from smaller brands. Brands like Nike and Lululemon make incredible clothes. But I like to spend my money with you know the, the little guys, for lack of a better term. Just by preference, and so you do you. So we have a few points to talk about with regards to these shorts. Number one, use case. Two, price. Three, material and features. And then four, let's look at the company. Okay, so use case. What do I mean? I mean, you gotta know what you're gonna do in these shorts. For me, it's CrossFit style workouts with a lot of barbell movements. Things like the deadlift, snatch, or clean may include multiple periods of contact with the shorts. And that knurling on the barbell is pretty rough and when contact occurs, the material of the shorts needs to hold up. I used to wear things like Nike with like that silky kind of thin type of material. And when I was doing like bodybuilding style workouts, those were fine. But as I introduced more Olympic style workouts, the durability shorts diminished. The Barbell caused these abrasions and I just pretty much retired those shorts of loungewear because they were just destroyed. Also, I sweat a fair amount and I also tend to work out outside in a lot of humidity. For that reason, I need something really durable and moisture wicking. The 10,000 shorts fabric is fantastic and it's really just like unlike any material that I've ever used before. But we'll talk about that later on. So for my use case, they're incredibly durable and I love them for barbell movements. I will note that one thing I don't like are these intentional holes punched out on the side. Like, I don't understand. I mean, it's a pretty slick looking design, but I feel like I'm gonna get something caught in them and they could potentially tear. I, I just don't understand why they're there. Why put holes in something and cause some issues with integrity? Anyway, next is price point. I've got shorts in my closet, I'm actually wearing one right now, that are $5. I'm talking sweat shorts that you can buy cheap on Amazon. And then I've also got some that are over $80. And there's a Goldilocks price point in there that I believe give you the optimal return on investment. You want something that lasts a very long period of time, but not something so expensive that you're just not getting your money's worth. So averaging out that large range of costs in my closet, you're probably landing somewhere 40, 50, $60 price range. And that's generally what you'll see in the market. Also of note, is the size of the company. Smaller companies that are trying to push product will tend to have higher price points just because they aren't able to manufacture in the large quantities as the big guys. I'm saying that the more material you can buy, like buy in big bulk, the cheaper you can get your price point down without sacrificing that appetizing margin. Also, when purchasing products at the store, you're paying for margin to the original manufacturer as well as that storefront. 10,000 sells direct to consumers, so there, there is no middleman that has to be compensated for. Another point I think about when I'm buying anything is a cost on a per year basis. The more durable a product is and the longer it lasts, the less my per year cost is. Add in the use case I stated earlier and I've gone through a lot cheaper shorts that have a higher per year cost than the 10,000 shorts that I have. They just get absolutely destroyed through use, frequent washes, and, and I'm gonna admit that I probably don't take care of my clothing as I should. Oh, and by the way, they've got this little lifetime guarantee on their products, so how's that for reducing cost per year pretty much to pennies. Also, if you do what I did and buy a pack, you get more savings. Now, I understand this can probably start sounding like an infomercial, which I assure you is not. I don't have any affiliation with 10,000 at the time of making this video, or is there anything in the works? No discussions had. In this review, I'm not saying that they're the absolute best shorts I've ever worn, or even if the, the best shorts that are in my closet, but some of those shorts come at a much higher price than what 10,000 sells theirs for, and Although I own better shorts, I don't believe for one bit that I get a return on my investment of the 30 or more additional dollars I spent on those shorts. It, I'll go in more in depth on all those brands of shorts I tested in my next podcast episode, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Okay, so price point to me was perfect in terms of getting an incredible product that will last. Next, material and features. I can't say that I've ever bought any clothing that has felt quite like these shorts. Fairly tough, but incredibly thin material. It just has this feel of being industrial and built to take a beating, but it's also incredibly breathable. I hate the elastic lining on a lot of shorts, but these have a very soft one that hugs comfortably at the hips. It doesn't move during workouts and wicks off sweat in the way that I mentioned that I need earlier. Also, these zipper pockets on the side, perfect for putting in your phone and when you're running, there's no bounce. One thing I don't like is the liner for a couple reasons, number one, I got big thighs, they're like 27, 28 inches. And the liners feel way too tight on my legs. It's like I'm wearing a tight sweatpant. So for me, I won't buy any more with the liner. Lastly, the company. 
We have a company built and focused on perfecting building shorts. Like really, this is what they want to master. To me, it's like that Bruce Lee quote. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Other clothing brands should fear the company that is focused on manufacturing and perfecting one product 10,000 times. And to me, they're killing it. According to the website, it's a company built by and for athletes. The CEO and founder, Kevin Nowak, I hope I'm saying that now, right? Nowak, Novak, is a triathlete, marathoner, and played professional soccer in Italy. He built the company because he couldn't find a decent pair of shorts. Me too. And that's how I found these guys. I'm constantly on the search for the best and most premium shorts. And Mr. Nowak, you did it for me. So if right now, for all the reasons I discussed in terms of best product for the price, these are it. I buy the interval shorts. Oh, and one last thing, they finally came out with five inch inseam. Some of you guys may not be there yet, but it's time to let those legs breathe and get with the times. It's short, short season, fellas. Like I said earlier, I'm not affiliated with 10,000 in any way, but there is a referral link in the description. It's just one of those that everyone gets when you make a purchase. If you'd like to support me and the channel, consider purchasing through that link in the description, and I would really appreciate it. So, appreciate your time and watching. Hope you enjoy the shorts as much as I have. Any person that I recommend to loves them. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on all the socials, and help subscribe to my new podcast if you're feeling it, and I'll catch you in the next one.